Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how my mom makes lilaval or lilva and ring and nushak, which is a green bean and aubergine curry. It's my absolute favorite. So let's get cooking. Now in this recipe, I'm using this frozen packet of lilva and on the packet it says surti lilva and it weighs 300 grams but I'm only using about 200 grams of this. You can use the whole packet if you want to but my recipe is for 200 grams of this lilva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out 200 grams of the lilwa and I'm going to rinse them just so that they defrost a little bit. Now again with these you want to look over them and take out any of the beans that don't look good or look like they've been eaten by bugs. Then I'm going to put them to boil in a little bit of water, not so much water because I want to be able to use the water that I'm cooking this in and I'm going to boil them either stove top for 15 to 20 minutes or in the pressure cooker for one whistle. Now while the beans are pressure cooking I'm just going to wash my aubergine and I'm going to puree a tin of tomatoes. I actually only need a hundred mil of this but I'm going to keep the rest in the fridge and I'm going to chop up one fresh tomato. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the stove off. Then I want to release the pressure quickly from my pressure cooker and to do that you just put it under some cold running water and give it some time to cool down. You'll hear the pressure release and then lift up the valve just to make sure all the pressure has gone and then remove the lid. Then we want to drain the cooked lilwa but we want to save this water because a lot of the nutrients have come out in this water and we don't want to waste that. So now that my ingredients are ready I'm going to heat up my pressure cooker and I actually have a slightly larger pressure cooker here and I'm going to put it on a medium high the number seven and I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of oil to this. Let the oil heat up really well. Then we're going to add one dry red chili along with a quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds and a quarter teaspoon of ajwayan or carom seeds. Let that pop and make sure you have a lid handy so that the mustard seeds don't go everywhere. Then add a quarter teaspoon of hing or asafoetida and let that sizzle. Then we're going to add 100 ml of crushed up tinned tomatoes along with 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic chili paste, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of red chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of coriander cumin powder and one teaspoon of salt and give that a good mix. Once it's fried for a minute or so, then go ahead and add the cooked lilwa beans and the cut up aubergine. Give that a good stir and we're going to cook it on the stove for about a minute or two just so that the aubergine absorbs all the spices. Then add about 100 ml of the water that we use to boil the beans because that's got the nutrients in it. We're going to add that to the curry, then we're going to cover it with a lid and we're going to pressure cook it for five whistles. The five whistles are done and it literally took only four to five minutes for that to happen. Now the heat is off and I'm just going to let it sit here so that the pressure can release naturally. Once the pressure is completely released, we're going to carefully remove the lid. Then we're going to add the chopped tomato and 20 grams of gur or jaggery. Then we're going to gently stir it and then we're going to pressure cook it one more time for one whistle. Now because of the tomatoes in here and the gur or the jaggery it makes it slightly sweet and sour and it's just so delicious. And on top of that, this pressure cooking process not only makes it very quick, 
but it makes sure that the beans are really cooked nicely so they're very nice and tender or soft they're not going to be hard at all so the last whistle is done and now my heat is off and you might be thinking that I cooked this for a very long time in the pressure cooker first I cooked the beans themselves for one whistle then I cooked the curry for five whistles and then I cooked the uh, curry with the tomatoes for another one whistle that's seven seven whistles altogether and that's a lot of whistles but I've tried cooking it the way I would cook it like just putting the beans in and putting it in the pressure cooker and just cooking it one time for five whistles it doesn't turn out like my mom's and so I had her come over a couple of months ago and make this curry in front of me and I followed the steps exactly and that's what you have to do if you want to learn how your parents make curries then you have to watch exactly what they do write everything down and follow it to the T and that's how you end up with a great curry and this curry tastes just like my mum would have made it and I'm hoping that you're gonna love it too I'm pretty sure you'll like it because it's got the sweetness and the sourness and it's oh so good it's so good so I'm gonna let this rest I'm gonna let the pressure release naturally because I'm not in a hurry once the pressure is released just garnish it with coriander and it's ready to serve and here it is my mum's lila wal and ring and nushak and it is absolutely delicious i'm gonna have the written instructions on how to make this in the pressure cooker on your instant pot or on the stove top on my website milhan.com so definitely check that out guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all soon for some more cooking inspiration.